All right, guys. I'll load it up. Bag, everything's one place, super easy. Bike, gas can, ramp. Let's go ahead and freaking hit this thing and let's have a fun day of riding, baby. Let's go. Welcome back to another video, guys. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I wanted to talk about suspension on my 2024 Husqvarna TE250. Now, this would have been an awesome video for the next video that's coming out after this, but every ride that I've taken this thing out on has just surprised me, blown me away. Just suspension wise, I'm 5'6", 150 without gear on, and uh, man, I am just so blown away at how good this bike is, especially suspension. I was on a four stroke 250 KTM before this, and man i just had a horrible time on that bike well, first of all it's an mx bike so this suspension was super stiff on it it was bucking me off whenever i'd try to go slow and i would hit like a rock or something and uh, i had a few close calls on it man anyways just completely switching over to a trail dedicated bike make it a husqvarna especially this new 2024 model with the wp I believe they're cartridge forks, or excuse me, spring forks. It's just an amazing, amazing setup, man. I haven't dialed in the suspension in terms of taking it in to get, you know, set up for my weight. I haven't set sag, I haven't lowered a seat, I haven't lowered anything to it. I literally just set the clickers to the normal setting. It's not even set to the super soft setting yet. And this bike has been amazing. The ride before this, I posted content on Instagram. I went up to like my first kind of like single track ride and man, it was insane. You know, just like going up some rocks um, at a high speed, hitting roots at a high speed that for sure would have bucked me off or definitely not felt good on my KTM. And ever since that day, I was just like, wow, like the suspension on this is everything. I remember just looking at these rocks and these roots that I was going up, you know, during hill climbs and just thinking like, wow, like I'm about to get bucked off or just looking at it and being like, whoa, let's see what happens here. Cause I hadn't really tested, you know, <laughs> this Husky on stuff like that yet. And it blew me away this ride as well. You guys can see on these rocks, just like eating it, man. And the suspension doing its thing and it just feeling like I'm, you know, just on a cloud. It feels amazing. Also just wanted to apologize for the camera angle. The GoPro settings weren't set up right. I had hyper smooth on. Anyways, GoPro settings weren't set up right. Apologies in advance for that, but man, wanted to give you guys kind of like a story time with, you know, some riding footage and kind of hopefully make your guys' decision a little bit better. And then, you know, fast forwarding to this weekend, past weekend that I just rode, not what you guys are seeing in this video. That was the previous, you know, two weekends. I just rode 45 miles of single track, which you guys will see in the next video of, you know, just through the woods, you know, super rocky technical, stuff um you know uphills which you guys will see and i was just again blown away by the suspension but I just the suspension on this bike is amazing man you guys won't have to worry about getting bucked or kicked or any of that stuff it feels like you are riding on a cloud with that being said that is just dead stock you know i haven't done anything besides move the clickers to the normal position Obviously, if you get your suspension dialed into your weight, your height, you know, your riding style, it'll be even better. But there's been multiple people who haven't really dialed it in besides, you know, touch the clickers a little bit. And even they say that, you know, this is the best suspension that they've ever, you know, had straight out of the box. And they haven't even really upgraded their suspension at all. I don't plan on upgrading my suspension, maybe getting it dialed in for my weight and, you know, my height down the road. As of now, I plan on doing nothing to the suspension besides maybe touch the clickers a little bit and move them over to the super soft setting. Arms are pumped. Yeah. <sighs> the hard part is already done. Damn, that was fun, man. I had some terrible line choices. I was like, dude, I'm getting so lucky right now. But as this bike is, you know, just from the dealer stock, it is amazing. And like I said, people plan on using this suspension exactly the way it is only adjusting their clickers you know maybe changing out the spring to their weight 
and that's it man this thing is ready to rock and it's amazing it's buttery smooth for me it made a total difference you know just for the type of riding i do which is mainly trail riding i'm not hitting any crazy jumps i'm not doing crazy hard enduro but people are using it for hard enduro just stock like that and it does amazing for me you know a person that was used to getting bucked off and you know on a super heavy four stroke race bike which was you know <laughs> red flag number one this was a world of a difference it improved my riding it gave me so much more confidence now i feel comfortable and i can actually you know push myself to stuff that you know that i know i can do but that maybe i would have questioned on a previous bike or maybe been like man that's just like i don't want to do it because i don't want to get hurt or i don't want to mess up my bike this bike is totally capable of it i feel that i can do it i'm not you know super out of my comfort zone on it man like you're you're on this thing and you feel like you can handle it that and also being on a lighter bike a smaller you know smoother feeling bike it feels very mountain bike-esque i came from mountain bikes this bike feels exactly like that and i'll pair that with an amazing suspension setup straight from the factory that all you have to do is just touch the clickers and set it to just either the normal setting or super soft setting like i did 150 no gear on just set the suspension to the normal standard setting which was you did have to turn the clickers i believe there's a super stiff setting a medium and then they're like a super soft setting i just put it in that middle standard setting and i haven't touched any clickers since i bet if i changed it to you know the super soft setting it'd be even better for my style of riding as you guys can see very rocky loose over hard pack here in southern california it's just amazing for that stuff especially whenever you're hitting like a, a flat slick rock or like a root or you know these loose rocks here and then you're on like some powdery you know sandy type of stuff it handles exceptionally well man and uh, i haven't had any issues if anything i just keep getting blown away at what this bike can do and the fact that i can get away with some of these things now it's not to say that you know you weren't able to get away with some of the stuff just to me i don't have the experience so whenever i do you know go over these big rocks or you know hit these roots and uh it just glides over it and i barely feel it and uh, it doesn't really like move my bike or my body position all that much i'm just blown away by it um maybe that's normal maybe that's just the suspension on this particular bike regardless to say i made an amazing purchase by getting on this you know 24 husky 250 with this suspension setup again this is the te version and this thing is pretty much the the 300 has everything besides i believe it's the piston and the head i don't know 50 cc's less don't get into the technicalities uh with me on that but man being a shorter rider jumping on a te 250 it's dialed in <laughs> especially if you're small on the smaller size if you're on the bigger end all you're gonna have to do is change out that suspension you're gonna have a blast on this thing man you're gonna be able to manhandle it but you're just a lot more comfortable on it whatever size you are this is an awesome bike ktms might be the better move for the taller bigger guys but these huskies just in general are going to be a great bike choice for anyone honestly at whatever level if you're starting out and you kind of want to looking for that everyday kind of everything type of bike and you want a bike for the long haul i would definitely recommend the husky just because if you're really serious about it you're gonna you know be riding for years to come um definitely you know like a honda 250 f versus jumping straight onto a husky i would say jump on straight to the husky right away that's exactly what i did i knew that i was gonna outgrow and kind of just uh you know outgrow that, that that honda 250f in a couple months and honestly i i i'm a year in and i already know that i would have already been looking to sell that bike maybe after like a month or two i uh, actually give it like maybe three months but even then like this husky is amazing it's a totally capable bike i'm super pumped on it now that might have been like a bad comparison considering Husqvarna is probably like the top of the line motorcycle off-road, you know, dirt bike company, um, you know, especially for the price point. It's definitely not cheap, but it's definitely worth it in my opinion, especially if you're going to be doing like, you know, rocky technical stuff, you know, trail riding in general. You just want a machine that's going to be reliable that you want to, you know, be able to focus on riding rather than doing bike work all the time, this is going to be your go-to deal, especially, you know, if you're going to be in it for the long run, like I said, maybe, you know, jump on a, a friend's dirt bike, kind of get familiar with it. Uh, if you if you fall in love with it, kind of like I did, then just make the jump for the Husky. I know tons of people who have just straight up done that, and I'm really glad I did that because I would have definitely lost money on a Honda, 
and uh, I would have outgrown it, been wanting to look into upgrading, and then, you know, I would have been upset because I have to spend more money. Anyways, I knew that I was going to be in it for a long haul. Chose a reliable bike that had great reviews, um, especially this new year that had nothing but good things to say about it. And again, just back to the suspension, I've had a terrible experience with bikes in the past, and I just thought it was just dirt bikes in general. I thought that it was maybe just me, you know, being a shorter rider, and come to find out it was literally just the suspension. Huskies are lower. They come with awesome suspensions. If I set it to an even softer setting, it's gonna feel even better. It's just an amazing bike overall, and it's gonna drastically improve your riding. And you know, it's definitely not the bike, it's the rider. But a lot of times, the depending on how the bike acts and reacts to things will definitely kind of um, affect the way you ride, right? So definitely having a bike that's uh, capable, that you know is built for this type of stuff you're gonna ride is gonna make all the difference. Now pair that with you know just practicing your skills, you know going over obstacles, going slow, practicing clutch mo uh, modulation which helps a ton on the rocky stuff, you know practicing you know standing up, you know keeping momentum over obstacles, different things like that. It's going to make a world of a difference. Now dial those skills in and you have the appropriate bike set up, the, you know, dialed in suspension, um, you know, dial, dialed in as in terms of like a good suspension setup, you know, a bike that has a good suspension like this Husky stock suspension, not going to do any suspension work to it other than touch the clickers maybe to the super soft setting, set the sag and then get a lower seat. This bike is absolutely amazing, guys. I'm telling you, like, it completely changed my outlook on dirt bikes with a KTM. I'm like, man, this is really fun. I love it, but it's just like, it's just hard, man. You know, I just, I wasn't, I feel like I just, I didn't know that I wasn't having as much fun as I would on this Husky. Jumped on the Husky, man. I was like, wow, this is insane. This is a, a whole nother world of riding dirt bikes. And, you know, especially considering, you know, I have a short inseam, I have maybe like a 29, 30 inch inseam. So it's tough to touch and the fact that I am a lot more comfortable on this bike that I can touch certain areas like super comfortably if, it, if we're talking flat ground I'm definitely not able to touch but different spots you know just picking and choosing where I'm stopping this bike feels so just good for me I feel one with the bike suspensions amazing guys. Anyways, that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video. If you had been looking into getting one of these bikes, I definitely recommend you look at this Husky T250. 2024 models, the suspension is absolutely amazing, so definitely check it out. Drop any questions in the comments or follow me over on Instagram, shots underscore G. That's where I post my GoPro footage from rides straight away. And uh, ask me any questions. I'm always happy to help you guys out just like I was helped out in the past. So anyways, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, guys. New ride video coming next week on a 45-mile single-track loop. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys in the next one.